The following is a technique for in-office needle arthroscopy of the shoulder. Initially, I'll position the patient sitting up in a beach chair position. I'll prep the back of the shoulder using the landmarks of one centimeter inferior and one centimeter medial to the posterior lateral edge of the acromion. Using the My Ultra, I'll anesthetize the skin and use 1% lidocaine from the skin down to the capsule. Typically, I'll use 20 cc's of local anesthetic injecting from the skin down to the capsule and peppering the capsule and the surrounding tissues with about 10 to 15 cc's. Once complete, I'll let the patient become anesthetized for a period of five to 10 minutes, and then come back and then position them in the lateral decubitus position. With the arm flexed to 45 degrees and slightly flexed forward, I will insert my my eye into the joint. After accessing the skin, I will feel resistance at the capsule and I'll enter slowly. Once I penetrated the joint, I'll retract the needle, bringing the light source into the field. Once I've accessed my local area, I will use sterile saline for injection. A thorough evaluation is undertaken and the cytopathology is localized. Tips and tricks. If a patient has a fear of needles, it may benefit them to lie down on the side in the lateral cubitus position. Placing a towel underneath the patient's axilla will also help open up the space. If the glenohumeral joint is extremely tight, you may also choose to use a spinal needle to inject about 10 cc's of saline into the joint. If there is blood present within the joint, it can be aspirated through the my eye by connecting an empty syringe and lavazing the joint with saline. It is important to remember to insert the my eye to the appropriate depth, typically between 45 millimeters and 60 millimeters.